once again, good friends. Welcome, new subscribers. I'm Brian from Apex Detail. Today, we're going to take a look at Sonax Rim Wheel Shield. This is a simple spray on, walk away form of protection for your rims. Will last up to six weeks, a little over 13 ounces for $19.99. It does hint on the label to reapply after every wash. So, when I read that, I myself want to make sure that the product will last and will not wash off during the wash process. So, we will apply to a wheel. I'm going to show you preparation because preparation is key for every detailing product to get the most out of it anyway. And then we will go and hop onto a test panel. We'll apply it. We'll see if it changes the appearance to the surface and we will also test durability for a bit. Let's get to it. As I mentioned earlier, preparation is key. So at least, at the very least, your wheels should get a thorough cleaning. I have a half ounce of the Sonax Wheel Cleaner Plus in the air foamer, and we're going to get started here. Any type of protection you're thinking about applying to your wheel will not bond properly if the wheel isn't cleaned properly. So that's what we're going to do right here. Then I like to follow up behind the cleaner and the detail brush with the steamer. Really get in all the corners. Now we're going to thoroughly dry the wheel. I'll use the air pulse. Any leftover water droplets, I'll simply dry with a microfiber towel. Okay, we have it perfectly dry. We have it perfectly clean. Okay, it's now time to apply the Sonax wheel and rim shield. It doesn't get much easier than this when it comes to applying protection. Simply take off the cap, shake it up. You can hear the BBs inside. This will aid in breaking up the product. There is a fine mist. And all you do is make sure you're applying evenly to the wheel.
You can see making the wheel glossy and this is kind of what it looks like up close applying it. I'm going on rather thick and heavy, but that's what it looks like. No need to grab a microfiber and buff off. It is applied evenly. It will spread out from there on its own and there is no need for you to stick around. All you need to do from here is wait one hour and you're good to take the vehicle out and drive it. So what we'll do next, we have a test panel here and I'll take the Sonax wheel rim shield and we will square out a little section here with masking tape. We'll lay down the product on a nice flat panel so we can see what it looks like uh, when it's first applied and as, as it's curing. And then we'll beat it up a little bit. It says it can last up to six weeks. Well, let's see if we could just wash it off with first a rinseless wash. Then we'll try a regular car shampoo. And if it survives that, we'll go from there. Since it is an aerosol, I also use plastic to cover the surrounding areas outside the masking tape. So what we'll do here is we'll give it a good shake. And I'll show you This gives you an idea of what it looks like right after it's sprayed. We're gonna come back. It says to leave it set in an hour if you apply it to your wheels before you start to drive. Well, we're gonna let it sit here the rest of the day. I'm gonna to get to work and we'll come back at the end of the day. It'll be fully cured by then. We'll see what it looks like. Just a quick update, about 35, maybe 40 minutes later, and you gotta remember, I did lay this on thick, thicker than recommended. You can see the edges are slightly starting to cure and work its way inwards. It's just a quick update. We'll come back at the end of the day. Okay, we're back at the end of the day, and this is what it looks like cured. I'm gonna try and get as many angles for you guys as I can. As you can see, with a light wiping, this residue doesn't come off that way. So let's give it a little bit of a, a harder wipe here. And as you can see there, it's still there. That's part of the protection, I guess. Um, probably designed to keep the dirt and the brake dust elevated from the surface of your wheel. So that way it can easily be rinsed or cleaned. Uh, definitely something I couldn't use, uh, but I definitely wanted to get a review in for you guys. Let's remove the tape and uh, see what kind of durability this stuff has. Give you another peek here after I removed the masking tape. And by the way, guys, th these are the wheels that we coated, and they look fine inside now. Uh, this has sort of a satin finish, except for the clear coated aluminum here. But um, yeah, it makes it a lot harder to tell that this product would was used on these wheels. But something with um, you know, a painted surface that's cleared. This is what it will look like. Let's beat it up a little bit, see what kind of durability it has. Okay, we'll just go step by step. We'll start off with just plain water. There you can easily see the outline of where you have protection and where you don't. Almost completely dry now. You can see, you can still see the outline there. 
Let's go a step further and do a rinseless wash. Okay, you can still kind of see the outline there and some of that stuff still in between. Let's get some water on there and see if there's any protection left on there whatsoever. Still have some beading. Still repelling water. Okay, let's go a step further. Okay, this time just a pH neutral car soap. Okay, what I'm seeing here, still the outline, but nothing really in the, in the middle anymore. None of that residue or film that we saw when we first came in and took the tape off. See if there's any protection on there. Okay, a little bit, not quite as pronounced as when we first started testing it. Uh, we'll try an APC and see if we can remove it altogether. Instead of an APC, we'll just go with an IP solution. And now what we have left over is just a tiny bit of the outline and I'd say it's pretty much gone. Okay, so we got to look at the Sonax rim shield. Definitely lays down a little bit of protection for a few washes. I do not like the way it looks myself. It may work on some satin or uh, unpolished wheels such as this but on a nice glossy surface. I do not like the way it looks. I couldn't recommend, Was, wouldn't use it here at the shop. And although I love 99% of Sonax's products, this is one I wouldn't buy again. So there you go. All right, my friends, that will do it for today. Again, that was the Sonax Rim Shield. A little over 13 ounces will easily protect 20 rims. If you have any questions on the product, don't hesitate to ask. I'd like to know down in the comments section below if this is something you would use to protect your wheels or would you just bypass it altogether and look for some more long-term protection. Brian from Apex Detail, catch you guys in the next video.